welcome back everybody to the Banner Saga episode 7. We finally made it inside of Frost Beller. Fuck yeah. What in the depths are you doing? Letting ourselves in. I see that. I'm very impressed. But all those people you just let in here, dead. All those women and children with you, dead. And thanks for killing the only ones holding this place together, Skull. What are you talking about? The man orders his guards to get the doors closed again before more refugees notice. If I knew there were fighters in Varl outside, I would have brought you in. I'm Ekil. I'm in charge here. You heard about the chieftain? We heard. He's hiding out in the Great Hall. Oh, really? Think you mean hiding out in a grave? He's eating worms, if that wasn't clear. What happened in here? Soon as they heard the dredge coming, anyone who couldn't swing an axe got one to the head. That's the short story anyway. At least three clans in here warring over turf and food, and the worst are the good forsaken Varl. He eyes Ivor and shrugs with exaggeration, as if simply stating the obvious. We're in more danger here than out there? Look, I was in charge here before things went to crap. You've got some people who can fight. You've got a Val who apparently has the strength of a god. I can keep your flock safe in the Great Hall, you fight for me, and to take back Frostfeller. I don't take sides. Too hard to tell when the good guys have become the bad. Fine. Cut these sheep loose and watch your own asses. What do I care? All I want to do right now is get out of these damn streets. Think carefully about what you want. We'll join you for now. We'll fend for ourselves, or we're not staying here. Oh fuck! I guess, I guess we'll join him, because I don't think we'll make it by ourselves. We're all fucking wounded. Good, because whatever you were thinking would have been a bad idea. Nickel shouts to his men, and with the gates closed, you follow him down obscured alleys. Hope we know what we're doing. Making it up as we go, Ivor. Chapter 3. Little Did They Sleep. They keep doing this to us when the story starts getting good and sending us back to the other side of the map. Ugh. Oh well, at least hopefully we get to find out what happened with Bognir. Hey, Con. We are back. I was able to get about as many warriors from Strand as you wanted, and more weapons. Extra supplies, too. You perk up just now, realizing Mogger has been talking to you. Since Vognir died, everyone has been looking to you to make the decisions. It's exhausting. Hey, Con. I heard you. What were you saying? Sorry, just tired. Go on. I was saying to Varl we said to Strand have returned. The governor gave us most of what we wanted. Good enough. Much resistance from the governor. Son. I don't think he was happy about us buying his own fighters using his own money. 
he also insisted we take on a lackey of his to watch over this property, a man named Eric. Eric, I met him. He seemed competent enough. Regardless, the governor will have to get over it unless he wants Dredge crawling through his streets. We've put down every slag that has wandered through here while you were gone. In a flapping of mouths, then. You are sure that wound has healed, Luden? I agree. Enough has already gone wrong. If something happens to the prince on a mission of peace, the alliance would rot. Or worse. They're right, Luden. Luden makes his own decisions. Vognir's dead. Uh, Luden can make his own decisions. He's a, he's a grown boy. We would only be made to do this again later, and I will not suffer it all the second time. Either take us through the wandering road, or do your job and slaughter some dredge. Luton turns abruptly with a scowl. He stamps back to his ring of tents and followers. Wandering roads not an option with these many. I could crush that boy's skull with one hand. If Luden won't be deterred, you'll have to deal with it. Don't let Luden get to you. Let's go. I'm sick of looking at this dump. What do I tell the warriors, Hakon? Tell them to be cautious, tell them we cover the mountainside, or tell them we don't stop until Schlid is retaken. Uh, let, let's just be cautious, I think. I'm not, I'm not that headstrong of a, of a guy. I mean, Hakon might be, but I'm not. We'll do. Give the word and we'll set off. I guess we'll go talk to Uben. You knew him well, didn't you? Wagner knew, uh, well, I don't know. I remember him. Always rushing around with some important business. But I never knew him. Never got a chance to talk much. Longer than I did, in any case. I suppose so. When he spoke, Val listened. I knew that much. I could use help there. The Scrivener leans back, considering the sentiment. I've seen worse. They respect you for your ability to swing an axe. They need to respect you for your actions. But you're not talking to the right, Val. Morgan's got some skill there. Most I can do is hold a quill. You consider what to say next. What are you always putting down in that journal? I heard you were a terror in your day. What do you suppose happened to the sun? Or get some rest. Um, I'm kind of curious what you're writing down. I, I want to know what happened to the sun, but... How do you mean? What do I write? I write what happens. They've built a banner in Arboring for that, you know. You mean the long banner? Yes, the Menders wove something that writes its own history. You want my opinion? I don't trust it. No? It tells a broad story. I think there's some value in the narrow. Whose story does it write? Mine? Theirs? Luden's? God forbid. Ha! <laughs> you relic. 
The gods have been dead a long time. Who have they? Old habits, I suppose. Oh, goody. What happened to the sun, then? Gods, how should I know? Never seen something like this before. Are you worried? Some of the Vardar in the caravan think the world's coming to an end. Others think it's the best thing that could happen. No more black months. I'll take it. If it's the end, I'm ready. What about the rest of us? To the depths with you. <laughs> huh. Well, I heard you were a terror in your day. Do you know how old I am? Dare I ask? I'm competing, you know. Nobody knows how old we Val can get, naturally. There's one by the name of Snorri. He's got a few years on me. Just hunkers and Grofheim collecting rhyme. Bastard might actually beat me. Another one named Crummer is close, I think. But the adult son of a bitch still welcomes the fight. He'll probably be off before I am. Although... The Scrivener gestures around him as if to remind you of the current situation. You chuckle. Anyway, point is, what difference does it make? I'm just a delivery bairn for the yonder now. Can't remember half of what I've done. Hence the journal. Hence? Don't get fancy on my behalf, Hacken. Okay, I won't. Well, fuck you, we're out of here then. I've hoofed more hills than a horse born with a grudge. Don't worry about me. Okay, that's enough borrowed voices for one day. My throat is fucking killing me. Have a good afternoon.